Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Rocket League coaching series, where we take a look at different pro players and break down exactly what they do that makes them so good. So for episode two today, we're going to be taking a look at none other than Gimmick, the current number one ranked 3v3 player, and we're going to be doing a replay to see exactly how this man plays and what we can learn from the number one ranked Rocket League player right now. So currently we're looking at a game that I saved that actually went on earlier today. Um, I found this replay on baldchasing.com and it looks like he's playing with his teammates Ajax, Com, and uh, these guys are all pros. So this is a very high ranked lobby and it's going to be interesting to see if gimmick can uh, kind of separate himself distinguish himself from the rest of the lobby seeing as he is uh the number one player so we're going to switch over to gimmick's point of view and i'm basically just going to be talking you through what i notice in gimmick's gameplay as a gc myself um and we're going to talk about what we see what we can incorporate in our games and how we can learn from this guy so without any further talking let's get started and see how gimmick plays so first of all, his kickoff is obviously impeccable. That speed flip was perfect. And then he loses it back right to his team, which is obviously ideal. Nice little wave dash there. Okay, I like this. I like this defense a lot already. Um, so you'll notice a lot of players at the lower ranks um, would get like antsy. They'd get very uh, impatient waiting back post here. But what Gimmick does is he actually pauses. He stops his car right here and he's waiting until Jacob forces a shot because he sees his teammate um, is facing him and he doesn't want to cause any confusion. And so I like his patience a lot there. That, that was very strong defense. That ball, I don't really think Gimmick needs to go up for, but he's got 100 boost. So I guess <laughs> he can do what he wants. He, he's got very good mechanics and he can get away with that. So let's see how he plays defense here. So right now he's being patient. I like this. He should probably know here that he doesn't need to go up for the ball, but um, my guess is they're actually not in comms right now. So that that might be the reason he, he went for that. It's interesting that he didn't get that boost. Okay, let's see how he plays offense here. I like his speed there. A lot of people, a lot of people here um, would think they need to shoot this ball on net and they'd be waiting till this ball comes here. But Gimmick has very good awareness here to see everything going on on his screen. And he actually sees that uh, TTV over there um, is pressuring this ball. And so what he knows is his job necessar isn't necessarily to score here, it's just to be first. And so I like that he goes up early. He clearly has no intention of shooting this ball on net. He clearly just wants to keep pressure um, and he uses his speed to, to make that happen. I like that a lot. I like his pathing a lot here. He's he's basically mirroring TTV and making it very difficult for him to get back in the play. You'll notice how when he rotated out, he looked for that corner boost, and that's something that I think we should everyone should definitely do, if if at all possible. A little scare there, but good recovery. I like I like uh, gimmicks movement around the field. Um, let's take a let's take a look at this play again. So after he goes back here, Gimmick knows he's first to the ball. He jumps up, he hits the ball. Okay, it's at center now. What does he see? Gimmick sees Ajax coming back, and basically Gimmick knows 100% that he is a teammate to the left here. Let, let, let's switch into fly cam and take a look. If he, he's looking at the entire field from his player perspective, all he sees is Ajax, he knows that Kam is behind him. So he grabs this boost, and instead of challenging it right away, he, he pulls back a little bit and he assumes the role of goalie more. And I, I like his movement a lot here because it's it's basically maximizing his impact even when he's not on the ball. He knows exactly where his team is. And so his movement is incredibly precise. Like there's no wasted movement and he's always right next to the play. Um, I think if there's something everybody can take from this, it's knowing where your team is is crucial in threes knowing where they are is crucial and it allows you to play much more aggressively without so much downside and you'll see how aggressive gimmick plays here he's he's so quick to this ball and the reason gimmick is first to this ball is not because he got lucky not because the 50 was lucky it's because his positioning was impeccable beforehand and that's giving him space to make a play happen here so let's see what he does i like that he went for a pass there um, unfortunately it didn't work out, but Gimmick sees, look, Gimmick sees this net is entirely covered. Ricky's rotating around, 
TTV is ro rotating around and he's got calm on his right side. So instead of shooting, he's going to look for a pass there. And, and that was smart. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. His teammate got beat a little bit, but that's totally fine. This is, this is very, this is very high awareness on the rotation. So when I'm coaching people, the, one of the number one rules I like to give is no matter what, when you're rotating defensively, always rotate back post, which means the side off the ball. So balls on the left here, I would tell most people to do some sort of loop. If we uh, switch over here, I tell them to go something like this. I tell them to go boost, 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 cut over to the right, grab this, grab this, and come here. It's going to make it much easier to save the ball with momentum, and overall, it's just going to make your defensive experience much easier. But at the very highest level, every second counts. And if you can get to the ball closer, um, if you can get, sorry, if you can get to the ball sooner, uh, that's a big deal. That's a really big deal at the high levels because any slight edge you're going to have um, in that sense is going to, it's going to show in game. And so most people, I think, would rotate around back post here, but Gimmick actually knows, I'm sure he realizes this, he has a teammate on his right. And so instead of rotating back post, which would make things awkward here, he actually cuts his rotation just slightly. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to increase the overall efficiency of his team. And this is a very high IQ movement here that allows him to save this ball. And his team is now moving better as a result. So this is this is just really good play. And then you'll notice that he sits in net there. Once he realizes he's last man back here, he sees his two teammates in front of him. He's his, his positioning is absolutely impeccable here. And it's just, it's creating his offense for his team. And they almost get a goal out of it there. So comes on that ball. Let's see how they position here. Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> Let's just watch that back again to appreciate this. Okay, so let's let's talk about this defense. Ajax and Gimmick know this is a freebie. They know that Com has this ball. So watch how they position offensively after Com. Oh my gosh! What? Watch how this team positions, knowing this ball has just been given up. They're on offense. They almost score. Um, Gimmick flies up here to try to keep it in. Um, totally fine. Totally fine. Once this ball gets sent here, even though it's a shot on net, this level of play is so high that there is absolutely no sense of danger here for the orange team. The orange team is actually looking at this ball flying at their bottom corner as an opportunity. And you'll notice that this team splits up to cover as much of the field as they can. And then it allows for this beautiful play. Ajax takes to the wall, gimmick busts it down the field into open space here. He gets into the most open space he can, makes himself a target for a pass. And the placement on that shot is just, come on, that's, that's really impressive. So hopefully we can see more plays like that. That was something else. I really like Gimmick's kick kickoffs here. He's always losing the ball um, intentionally. You'll notice that he's he's not necessarily trying to pound this ball into their net. He kind of rolls off it. And this is something that I think everybody can try to do if you have comms in threes games. Just losing the ball a tiny bit um, is big. If you can always start with possession, right? If you can guarantee possession um, after every kickoff, that adds up over time. Tail gimmick moves here. Wow, I really <laughs> something I really like here. It's not often in threes that you get space, right? So when gimmick does notice he has space, he doesn't rush to hit this ball. He catches it, waits just long enough to be pressured, and only then flicks this ball. That's that's really nice. And now he's gonna rotate around. Uh, that this is a beautiful positioning. See how this plays out. Good patience there. I, I like this offensive positioning a lot. He's he's waiting for the double tap to happen to see if anything spits out. But when it doesn't, he instantly gets back and he's rotating off the ball. Notice how he's rotating off the ball here. That's big. And unfortunately, he ran out of boost there. But I really like his aggression, right? He has 25 boost, but he sees his team on his team is on offense. And so he stays there regardless. That's big. I, that's actually something I want to talk about for a second here. Even though Gimmick only has 49 boost here, he do, a lot of players, a lot of players would go, even myself sometimes, would see this ball here, see that he has 20 boost, and instantly go all the way to the back post and remove themselves from the play. But if Gimmick was over here now, 
there would be no scoring opportunity when this ball gets sent down. And so I really, really like that Gimmick has no fears in that sense, right? He's 20, 24 boost, but he understands that his team is on offense right now and he needs to be up here, right? Because this ball could come down middle and they could get a scoring opportunity out of it. So I really like, really, really like his positioning here. Staying middle even with lower boost is, is critical and it's something that low rank players especially um, miss. Let's keep watching. Let's see how he rotates back here. I really like Gimmick's use of flips. His speed around the field is is really high. And that all comes down to just these constant flips. Whenever he has open space and whenever he knows he's going in a certain direction, he's flipping in that direction. And that's just increasing his movement around the field. Let's see what he does with this ball. Double? Wow, that's a good try. That's close. This, obviously, there's not, not everybody can learn something from this, but... Here is a learning lesson. Um, if you're coming off the wall at a ball ever and the ball is more than a jump and a flip away, just like you would fast aerial off the ground, um, to be quickest to the ball, you also want a fast aerial off the wall. So notice how he, uh, how he double jumps here. Just like you would double jump off the ground to get to a ball, um, he double jumps off the wall to get to this ball and that allows him to get there faster. So just a little thing, but uh, a trick you can incorporate. If you're ever trying to hit a ball off a wall and you need to go reach out to get it, um, try double jumping. That's an interesting hit. I'm not sure if Gimmick meant to send it over there. I kind of want to get in his head and see why he would have done this. So I don't mind that he goes back for boost here because the offense is clearly slowing down. Ajax makes a beautiful read and passes back. Um, does he mean to send it over to the left? I'm not so sure that he does, but it's it's definitely not not a bad thing. Sending the ball into open space there, it's never it's never gonna hurt you. Let's see how he plays defensively here. Wow, that that was nice. Once again, guys, gimmicks patience on defense. A lot of people would rotate past this net, but he stays he stays towards the back of the net, and that allows him to save the ball in front of him, which is which is key here. Unfortunately, the save goes right back up. I wish you would have saved that to the corner, but I mean that save that shot came at him so fast Like you can't, can't can't blame gimmick for not getting to it. If he can't get to it. Not many people can Wow um, Just another thing even though he didn't hit this ball look at his conviction when he sees three people facing this ball here He knows he has to be first to it and his only job here is to beat um, to beat their team to the ball and that's I think a big part of threes a big part of threes is not necessarily scoring all the time like always going for shots is what i'm trying to say threes is a game of pressure whereas twos is a game of possession and and so what i mean by that is in threes generally speaking the way you're going to score goals is from sustained pressure on the other team whereas in twos you're going to score goals by having consistent possession of the ball and i think that's something that gimmick really understands as a threes main is his job here is not to score this ball it's to keep pressure on because if he can beat one or even two of these people here that that pressure is going to compound over time and eventually it's going to pay off if they can keep the ball on their side of the field and keep getting these small beats. So even though he doesn't hit this ball perfectly, it takes a weird bounce. I like that he rushes to it because his only job there, the only way he can be useful there is by flying at this ball. And so that's what he does. Now he has to get back. So let's see how he rotates back. Really like this rotation. Unfortunately, his corner boost gets taken um, because that at the high ranks, after uh, after somebody rotates out, they're going to take your corner boost, right? That's smart. Um, but I really like how he rotates. Take a look at this. He rotates off the ball. He sees his two teammates on the left here, and so he flips to the right. And it's gonna, he's going to sweep around and rotate off the ball. That's going to put his team in the best position to defend here. Um, that's something that a ton of lower rank players get wrong. And if you can just learn to rotate off the ball on defense, um, that's going to be a big deal for helping you rank up. Let's see what he does here. I like that he gets back um, after his teammate pushes up here. After Com flips for this, he clearly wants that boost. Gimmick turns back because now nobody's behind Ajax. So I like that his sense of danger flares up there when his teammate pushes up. That's, that's an awareness thing. Um, that's just indicative of a, of a really good player like himself fortunately they get a little bit of a double commit there let's see if they can recover 
Oh, they double commit on blue double commits on offense as well, so looks like they're gonna be all right. Wow, wow. Take a look at this. Once again, generally rotating off the ball is smart, but when you're at gimmicks level, there are situations where rotating off the ball is not gonna cut it. And so look, gimmick sees both of his teammates on the right side of the field, and so he knows he's gotta get to this ball. And so he does a great job of cutting rotation here strategically um, and using his flips like we were talking about before, flipping whenever he has a clear direction in mind. He knows he needs to go straight here, so he's going to flip to increase his speed, especially with low boost. Um, this cut in rotation saves him a goal. Look at his speed to this ball. That That's a goal that would... That's like a... That's a no-brainer getting scored on at most ranks, but Gimmick just saved a goal. Once again, guys, take a look at this. Look, look, look at Gimmick's boost meter. This is not a mistake. Gimmick has 12 boosts, and it is not a mistake that he's up here. A lot of lower ranked players would say, Gimmick has 12 boosts, what is he doing? Like, he can't score this ball with 12 boosts. Even if it gets centered, what's he going to do? Actually, you can. Um, most shots, when you're playing the center man, you only need about 12 boosts to get up to the ball and place it on net. If he picks up one more small bad, that's 24 it's he can score almost any center ball um that's reasonably placed and he's at a high level right so these balls are going to be placed well i really like that he stays on offense with 12 boost a big mistake at low ranks is rotating off offense when there's no reason to right he is his team clearly has pressure here and him rotating out would hurt his team in the long run it would alleviate the pressure for the defense so what gimmick is going to do even though he's low on boost is he's going to stay up and he's going to be waiting center forcing the other team to panic and get this ball out and even though he never actually goes for the ball there i really like that he's not taking himself out of the play right he's always near the play um just close enough so that if the ball does 50 in his direction he's there for it and that's something that maybe didn't pay off there but that's going to earn goals over time. 10, you know, that happens 10 times. He's getting a goal two or three times there. Once again, these flips, his, his speed is just incredible. He, he moves so quickly around the field. Okay, so he should know that he has a teammate behind him. And yep, so I like I like that he clears the ball over that way. Let's see, this is a little awkward. Um, oh, I really like, wow, this use of half flip was great. Okay, so one key to playing defense um, in threes, one, one like golden rule that I always talk about when I'm coaching people is when you're playing defense, you all want to be facing the same way. All three of your cars on defense should be facing the same direction in order to have the most safe defense. In order to have the strongest protection of your net, you want to have all of your team's cars facing the same way. And that's because when you're on defense, if you are ever rotating in such a way that your team's cars are facing each other, it makes it really difficult to know who's going to go for the ball, and it leads to double commits a lot. So notice how Gimmick sees Ajax facing towards his net, so he half flips over, and now his whole team is facing this way, which means they can go one by one um, into clearing this ball. And it just makes sense because their team flows much better that way. So if you can, really try to move with your team on defense. I think that's something that high rank players do naturally, but unless you hear that, right, unless somebody tells you that, it can it's not necessarily obvious um, as a lower rank player. So that's something definitely to try to incorporate. see what gimmick does here wow <laughs> that center was off uh, i i don't even have anything to say about that center wow so he probably shouldn't be flying for this ball but game's about to be over it's two nothing this one's kind of a gimme at this point wow that was that was really impressive to watch gimmick play i mean there's a reason he's ranked number one right we can talk about a lot of things from this game but i think the big conclusions um the big the the big conclusion that comes to my mind is why gimmick is number one is because of his positioning and his movement around the field right it's not necessarily that he's like he could i'm sure he could it's not necessarily that he's double flip resetting and just styling on all these pros right it's 
his movement around the field at in threes is just impeccable right he always stays near the play even when he's low boost his defensive positioning is like super aware he's rotating back post and off the ball when he needs to but he knows exactly when to cut rotation um to increase his team's efficiency and his movement in open space is just unbelievable right he moves so quickly around the field and it seems like he's always in the right place to hit the ball and these things are not something that's going to come instantly to everybody right you're not going to instantly um watch gimmick play and then suddenly have this super awareness of where to be in the play but if we can just take parts of his game if we can just learn to rotate back post learn to stay up on the ball even when we're low on boost learn to know your role right even when you're in the corner and can't score just going in to beat the other team has value right if we can pick up on these little things that gimmick has done throughout this game i think we're all going to be better off for it so hopefully that was interesting guys watching the number one 3v3 player um play some ranked games uh if you like this video make sure to leave a like um and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing i i upload one of these type of videos every week every thursday so Hopefully this was helpful um, and helps you rank up in your games. Uh, let me know down below who you want to see next in the series, what pro player um, is most interesting to you, and I'll make sure to take a look at them. Other than that, though, guys, that's all I've got. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.